Well, there's an ongoing debate about the use of brine water on dirt roads in northwest Pennsylvania. The one woman says she's seen the negative effects of brining in her area. Kira Braddock has our report. We brought you this story back in July. Some residents in Rome Township were in support of using brine water because they say it helps keep the dust down from their dirt roads. Dust is so bad that when you get up in the morning, your computer has always got dust on it. Meanwhile, Farmington Township resident Siri Lawson says she has been able to link multiple negative health effects to brine water. They would drop the brine and I would start reacting with an anaphylactic type reaction, allergy reaction. Uh, my tongue would swell so my teeth serrated the tongue. Lawson filed a lawsuit against the Department of Environmental Protection in an effort to stop the spreading of brine water on the dirt roads that she lives on. Some people claim brine water is simply natural salt water, whereas the Environmental Protection Advocacy Group Earthworks has a different opinion. The brine waste that's spread on roads does have high levels of salt and high levels of radioactivity that are often many times above drinking water standards. Lawson says she believes townships should find other solutions to keep the dust down on the dirt roads. And the argument boils down to, do you want to inhale and deal with dust dust, or do you want to inhale and deal with a radioactive, highly toxic, uh, heavy metals, chemicals, Radiation. Lawson and members from Earthworks say they want to encourage townships to consult with Penn State Dirt and Gravel Institute to find solutions to settle dirt road dust. And that was Tara Braddock reporting.